coal miner Huange Colliery was founded in 1899 and sells primarily to Zimbabwean power utility Zesa. The company accounts have stabilized since they were reported in US dollars in 2009 and now reports a market cap of 200 million rand. It trades on a price to earnings ratio of four but pays no dividends. Huange, <laughs> Paul? Yeah, no, Canada yeah. is not yeah. good enough. Zimbabwe, that's the place you want to be listed. Sure, high risk. <laughs> so, I mean, well, you gave the company history there. It's a coal mining deposit on the eastern side of, no, no, sorry, the western side of Zimbabwe. The principal customer is the Zimbabwean equivalent mm -hmm. of ESCOM. The numbers used to be a total joke because they were reported in Zim dollars, you know, sure. trillions of this and that. And then in 09, at least they dollarized it and so on. So, but unfortunately, almost never trades here. It's mm -hmm. something like 30% held by the Zim government. Uh, you know, the bid offer spread, the price at which their buyers and sellers is, you could drive a bus through it. Uh, you know, nothing much going on. There's the chart. That's a brilliant chart. Yes. haven't seen one like that yes. in a while. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, again, not of enormous interest. And also remember, Zessa itself has got massive problems because they don't have the foreign exchange to invest in their uh, modernization of the plant. So they, they, they're sort of caught between a rock and a hard place. I mean, the power grid in Zimbabwe is very much debilitated by lack of capital mm -hmm. spending and you know it's a real sort of um, taking it day by day up there so should things turn around in zimbabwe could this one uh, be one to be in yes it's a possibility for those with a very high risk appetite but you know just looking at this chart it goes from 40 to minus two doesn't that sum up the company? Yeah. It's, yes, if you have a strong risk appetite, if one believes that <laughs> I Southern... Don't think it's meant to minus <laughs> two. It's well, just the graph just on the chart. <laughs> well, it, it was a convenient number to quote. <laughs> <laughs> so, but seriously, uh, under present circumstances, it, if, 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 if the environment improves, the government will take whatever they can out of operational revenue. Um, it will take a long time. But, f but if we're going to see foreign direct investment in Zimbabwe, it must eventually happen. The president is not going to carry on forever. Perhaps uh, st strategies will change there. Whew, long odds, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. But no, unless you've got a huge risk appetite, I think your, your, your money may be better on the horses of turf and tank. So you don't have No, a thank you. Appetite. So, so no for you, Paul? Yes. <laughs> now, I'd rather invest in the Huangye Game Reserve, which is apparently <laughs> quite nice. That's up the road than, okay. the, than, than the, the coal mine. No so thanks. two not hots on Huangye.